Welcome to my quick tutorial on Chessbase. This is geared at showing how to use lightchess.org, chess.com, Chessbase, Stockfish to improve your games. So here I have Chessbase open and I will show a few tools I use myself. Now let's see on the web, online, I played a game on lightchess.org. You can see here the game and I want to import that into Chessbase. So I hit Analysis Board, and now I have the game, which, which I analyzed here on Leeches, and I have four tabs at the bottom. The last tab, Fan PGN, I'm gonna click on Download Row. I don't want any annotation, I just want to move directly to go into Chessbase. So I click left on Download Row. Here we go. You can see now that in Chase Base, I have the game which was imported from Lee Chess. So now the first thing to do is to go to File on top and do Save As. And save the game into a database. So here, when you hit Save As, you can modify the names, the ratings, the dates, anything you want before you hit OK. At this stage, what you want to do is go on the top right, close the window, go to the database and reopen the game you just saved. After you save the game in database, Exit the window and reopen the game. You can see that you have this window and at the bottom left, you get the evil bar from Stockfish for your entire game. When it's above the zero axis, white is better. When it's below, black is better. So you can see clearly until move around 15, I was a little bit better Then my opponent gain a huge advantage around here, more than four pawns on, on the scale, was still better by move 45. At the very end, I was winning and won the game. So that's a key feature to know right away how did the game go, looking at the engine evaluation bar, meaning are you up three pawns, down two pawns, etc., etc. at the bottom left. That's very important. Now, how do you get an engine into Chase Base? And can you have more than one? You can. So now I'm gonna switch again to a different window to show you on the web where to get Sockfish 12. So the way it works is the following. So instead of going to Lead Chess, I recommend you go to stockfishchess.org download and based on your operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, etc., you can download the binary, either BMI2 if you have this processor, 64-bit for Windows 10, you click download and you get that on your own computer. Once you have downloaded uh, the free engine like Stockfish 12, now you go to Chase Base. In Chase Base, you're gonna hit at the top, set the main program options, Control Alt O, if you don't have the shortcut. Then you're gonna have Engine and Browse. And at that moment, you can browse and select the engine that you need. In here, you can set up all the engines that you need. So Stockfish, LC0, Fritz, depending on what you have. Once you have all the engines saved on your computer, you can, in Chase Base, incorporate them when you review your game. You can do add key bitters and have as many engines as you can run. Or in my case, I'm gonna hit default key bitzer at the top of the screen and Stockfish 12 will load. 
This will mean that when I review the game, I will have Stockfish at the bottom left of the screen, indicating the first two best moves in any positions. Right now, on move 10 for black, Stockfish is recommending at the bottom left, Queen F5 has its main line. The second move it recommends is Bishop E7. Over here, you have the live chase based databases with all the users willing to share their analysis outcome and the depth at which the moves were looked at. So right now, I'm going to focus in this video only about the Stockfish 12 recommendations. You have both the two main lines. You can add more lines by clicking plus here and have three lines. And you also have the eval here. So the engine after 10A3 thinks it's minus 0.5 pounds in a favor of black because it has a negative sign. So if I go back one move and I had place G4, we let the engine run a little bit. We can see that black can either go back in G6 or take on G4. And in both cases, the engine prefers white, white's position. Let's see how Stockfish 12 with Chase Base can help us pinpoint what to improve the game from a white perspective. Moving into the game, let's go to move 22, white to play. So here in this position, I play king on h2, but then my opponent play f6 and the rook was pinned around this diagonal. Therefore, after king h2, black has a near winning position. What is white's suggestion for stockfish? The first line, root x at x5. So let's go take. Obviously, black would take, check, and then king b8. So now white has only one pawn to be down the exchange, but white can still fight. For instance, Stockfish recommend Queen G4 attacking the Rook. Maybe Black can defend, but we still have a game over here. Instead, if we return to the key position here, after King H2, evaluation dropped to 3.6 at depth 14. So that's pretty low because I'm running a lot of different processes here. But if we wait a few seconds, when the depth goes to 20, we we'll see the evolution stabilizing and clearly, clearly the best move for black is f6, which was played by my opponent in the game. So here I could easily put exception point, excellent move my opponent playing the best move. And here king h2 is clearly a mistake. I'm gonna put a question mark because that runs into the pin. So here I had to play queen rook f5 and i could put here the best practical chances by doing control a i can add a comment and then i can hit save the game and save the entire game with all the comments so what i recommend is a mixture of looking at the best recommendation by the engine adding comments so that you remember what was going on and then reviewing whether your play or the opponent's play was in line with the engine recommendation or not. That's how basically you go to the critical point of the game. Now, what is very interesting is to analyze the end of the game using the same technique, moving all the way to move 50 of black to play. So in this position, black can still get stay in the game by playing queen g8 and you can see here that it's zero 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 absolutely equal not easy for an engine to say much harder for humans to think this position is balanced while black has an extra bishop and white has a dangerous g7 pawn however stockfish is judging this position as equal but after the move rooks take h3 the engine 
is switching back to nine pawns for me and he's seeing a big advantage using either queen f8 or b5. I use another move, promoting, black takes, check, king here, rook takes. In this position, black has nothing else than taking the rook in order to avoid checkmate. In the game, black went for queen f3 and I delivered checkmate over here. So you can see clearly that the 50th move is a critical position. On the best play, it will be equal, and after my opponent's move, is lost. So this is what happened in this game when the game turns around. And that's where using chase base, one engine and sometimes two engines for the beginning of the game can help you really assess, understand, and improve ultimately your level of play. Now, um, there is another feature called tactical analysis where essentially you can tell chase base how many seconds you want per move and let the engine go over the entire game and also annotate variations and comments. I found that technique less precise by using the left part of the screen with the graph and reviewing exactly what's going on. For instance, here you have a bar going down and move 20, 25, 30 off. And the NG may call that all blunders, but some may be very easy to spot or some very hard. So I recommend to use the technique I described in this video to go over your variations and analyze manually your games to find the critical moments. In my opinion, it is a better tool to improve than using the automated solution here. I would like to show one last feature using a different website. So I'm gonna switch over a browser and go to chess.com and look at the recent article about Title Tuesday won by Hikaru Nakamura. You can see here on the left in chess.com, you can go over a game. I like also to import that game into Chase Base to analyze further. So how do I do that? I go over here, I click PGN, and I click the green button over here. I have imported the entire game into Chase Base, and even the comments and variations from the article are also in the game. So now, what is important to notice, again, you can see on the graph over here that black is getting an advantage around that moment. It was near equal until then. So after queen c6, the blunder is 92. That was in the article from chess.com. And if we go over here, we can see immediately the engine switching from minus four, minus five, and just a move before the queen c6, the engine considered the position equal. So the commentary here from the article is matching exactly the engine recommendation. And now we can see that Hikaru Nakamura with black play a different move than bishop h6. He played a check, the king move, and on move 29 spotted the winning move bishop h6, securing the queen and the knight in f4 and d2. So once again, using an engine is very powerful. And since this game was won by Hikaru Nakamura, I will give credit to Hikaru and display him on the left. And not only did he win the game, but he won title Tuesday on December 15th and many other games. So what I recommend beyond looking at your own games is of course looking at Grandmaster games, 
and learning from that. So Chase Bay is a great tool here. We can see how Hikaru with black developed a very aggressive setup and then went to build a winning advantage against another Grandmaster in this game, in a dragon, Sicilian dragon type of game. So that's what I recommend to do using engines. Thank you very much for watching.